بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سبجیکٹ سائنس گریٹ فائف چیپٹر نمبر سیون ویدر پیٹرنز لیسن نمبر ٹو سو لیٹ سی دا لیسن ٹو کلاؤڈس اینڈ پریسپیٹیشن ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی پیج نمبر تھری ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ایٹی فور سو دا وکیبری ورڈس ڈیٹ ان شاء اللہ وی ڈسکس ان ڈیٹیل ایئر میس فرنٹ وٹ موو ایئر میسز So what are the air masses and fronts? So first question is here. Let's see the answer of that question. The weather is an area is affected by the air mass that is passing over the area. What happened? The area where uh, there is, you can say that dry or hot, whatever the condition before. When the air moves, if the air is cool, it changes the weather of that land or that area. If it's hot, or dry it also affect that area an air mass is a large region of air that has a similar temperature and humidity what happened it contain amount of water in it known as humidity and also has different types and range of temperature okay air mass can cover thousands of square kilometer of land and water you can see here this the air it covers here lot of region so maybe this uh, uh, area of the land you can say that if it move towards the water it can cover a huge area or you can say that a vast area here now next depending on where they from it depends from where it comes air masses can be cold or warm and dry or humid you know that maybe it's temperature less high or dry without water or humidity mean it contain amount of water moisture in it in air mass that forms above a warm area of water will be warm and humid if air moves towards or over uh, ocean or river or you can say that if it's move over the water what happened it contain water vapor that it become moist or you can say that humid and air mass that forms over a cold area of land will be cool and dry now the opposite if it's move some uh, area where is no water so it's mean it don't have any amount of water in it or moisture so it's mean it become dry the areas from which an air mass is gets its characteristics is called the source region when one air mass meets a different air masses or is this meeting place between air masses is called a front so you can see here this the air before and this the upcoming air is coming and they combine to each other then what happened they make a front a front may marks the front edge of the one oncoming air mass so here you can see that also an edge that forms or you can say that by the combination or two types of air due to temperature change due to dryness due to warm or cool many reasons may be here okay when a cold and dry air mass runs into a warm and moist air mass the dense heavy cloud cool air puts up the lighter warm air why because you know that the denser or the cold will always heavier as compared to warm and uh, the lighter one as the warm air rises the moisture in it condenses covering clouds form and storms may flow sometimes the temperature and humidity of the air masses behind a front are similar when this happens the air masses don't move so what happened and a stationary front form a stationary front is a boundary between two different air 
masses where neither one is strong enough to replace the other so the next question that's here is what moves air masses you have learned about global winds such as trade winds another type of global wind is the jet stream the jet stream is a high altitude wind caused by large temperature difference between air masses so how this happened the jet stream winds can exceed speed of 240 kilometers per hour or you can say that 150 miles per hour over north america the jet streams blow from west to east since the jet stream winds push push air masses almost all weather fronts in north america move from west to east as well the direction tells us the movement of the air warm and cool front help you predict future weather today's weather is typically similar to yesterday's weather further west as the jet stream winds blow one front to the east the fronts behind it are pushed east as well thanks for watching